Good evening, everybody, and thanks again for joining us. Lauren is working from home, and we'll be hearing from her a little bit later in this newscast. We begin with efforts to control the spread of COVID-19 at Hawaii prisons. The Department of Public Safety reporting five new cases of the virus today. DPS saying all our staff members, including one at the Women's Community Correctional Center and four from OCCC. It's at OCCC where the state has seen a huge outbreak. In fact, the largest so far, 242 cases. That's 242 inmates. Another 51 staffers have all tested positive. Professional deep cleaning and sanitation services will continue across three more housing modules through Thursday. Department of Public Safety Director Nolan Espinda must be removed from his position immediately. That is the call from two of Hawaii's biggest unions that represent workers at OCCC, citing the outbreak of COVID-19 and the escalating unrest within the facility. Sam Spengler tonight reports on the story that is new at 10. Both UPW and HGEA are calling upon Governor David Ige to replace Department of Public Safety Director Nolan Espinda for what they call a lack of communication and failed leadership amid the COVID-19 outbreak at OCCC. UPW represents OCCC's adult corrections officers, while HGEA represents nurses, social workers, and office workers at the facility. Today, UPW laid out a grim work environment for ACOs. The conditions under which they work in, it's inhumane. They've been working 24, 36 hour shifts. They're doing it to help each other out. They're doing it out of loyalty to the department. The unions are asking the Department of Public Safety for better PPE, more frequent testing, and suspension of an attendance program that they say punishes ACOs for unpaid absences and encourages employees to work when sick. Governor David Ige says the state is prepared to help, but didn't go into much detail. Uh, we do have uh, several contingency plans uh, to look at OCCC and ensure that um, the workers uh, as well as the inmates can be kept healthy and safe. UPW says they're past that point and it's time for change. We're asking the governor to call for the resignation of Nolan Espinda. We have not seen anything positive coming from the director's office and it's time that he step up or step out. DPS responded to KHON2 in a statement saying, quote, the Department of Public Safety will continue to engage in ongoing discussions with UPW to resolve concerns expressed by our employees. Together, we will navigate through the unprecedented challenges brought on by the COVID-19 pandemic impacting our state and facilities. In a state Senate meeting today, the public safety chair said the situation needs oversight and a possible investigation. A perfect storm of uh, infection death should have been avoided, should have been thought of. And what can I say about that? I think it's clearly one of lack of leadership or foresight, all of which has led to what we have today. UPW says they have met with Espinda, but felt that he didn't take the situation seriously. And I also spoke to an ACO at OCCC tonight, who tells me that the only interaction they've had with Espinda was when he came by to drop off pizzas. Sam Spangler, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.